Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to create a chat application from scratch and we are also going to develop a GUI for that application. So I'm going to split this video into two parts. First, I am going to build the graphical user interface using tkinter, that is a Python module. After building up the whole interface, we'll be creating a socket connection to make interaction with the chat application. So I'm going to build the code from scratch and uh, while building, I will explain what I'm going to do. Okay, let's start building the application now. First, we will import the necessary module. So I'm going to import tkinter module, that is a inbuilt uh, Python module from tkinter import star. So I'm going to import all the modules that are available in tkinter. So you can also import a specific modules, but uh, here we are going to use different modules. That's why I just uh, import all the modules. So star means it will import all the available modules. So first we are going to create a GUI function. So GUI function def GUI. So in this function, we are going to declare all the necessary variables to build the UI. So apart from this, we have to build the main function. So if name equals underscore main. So this is the main function. Uh, you won't be seeing uh, these kind of functions uh, in most of the development. So this is like a proper uh, development. If you're going to develop some application means uh, they will declare these kind of main functions. So usually we will just uh, write the code normally, but uh, so we will go into some professional way. So that's why I'm just using a main function. So in this main function, I will just call this GUI function and we will just leave it. When we run the code, it will just start with this function and it will call this corresponding function. Okay. Now let's build the GUI function. First, we will initialize the TK inter module. So that is initialize TK inter object. So that will be GUI equals TK. So this is like a window we are going to create. So next we will create set title for the window. So for that GUI dot title, let's say server chat. So this will be the title of that window. When we run it, I will just show where it is placed. Next, set size for the window. So that will be GUI dot geometry. So we have to represent the size. So you have to represent in terms of a string. So I'm going to go with uh, 380 cross 430. So I have developed the application before. That's why I just uh, reusing the same numbers. So it will place the components in the window appropriately. Okay, this will be the main UI. Let's uh, run it and check whether it is working or not. Before that, we have to create uh, one more line. So that is keep the window in loop. So for that, GUI dot main loop. So what happens is if you create some kind of function means it will execute only one time. So after execution, the window automatically closes. That's why to retain the window as it is, we need to declare this uh, function. 
so it will just uh, keep the window in place so so it will only close the program when you close the window okay let's run this so to run this code just press f5 and select this python file so this is the server chat application so this is the whole ui and we will be creating some uh, uh, boxes here and some buttons and the text box here so this is like a skeleton of the application so this is the title we have created and the geometry we can able to change later if you want to increase the size so now i will just close it and it automatically closes the file and the program so close this now let's get into the application so first we are going to create text space to display messages so for that i am going to create a variable called chat log chat log equals text so this will uh, display the text data so where you are going to create this text that is in the gui window so gui comma background color so background is white so that will be a decent application for us so we have to specify the width and the height of this uh, so we have to specify the width and height of the application so width equals in in the string 50 and height equals that will be 8 so in the next we have to disable the chat log for now so it won't just uh, update or uh, to avoid the user to interact with the uh, main window so i will just uh, show you so chat log dot config state equals disabled so it will just disable that particular user interface that is the text so maybe let's run it to see uh, how it's placed so you can able to see uh, it doesn't uh, show anything now So we have uh, created the chat log for displaying the messages and after that we have to place it we will place it in the end next i'm going to create a button button to send messages so that will be send button equals button and again you have to specify the window that is gui here also we have to specify the background color so i will say bg equals let's say orange and uh, foreground that we can set it as red and we have to define the text of that particular button so text equals that will be send next we have to specify the width and height of the button so width equals let's go for 10 and height equals and that will be 8 now after this we have to specify the command like uh, when you click the button which function to call that we will uh, set it in the later point so we will just leave it as it is and after this we have to create a text box 
to type the messages so for that text box to type messages so text box equals text and here also we have to specify GUI background color that will be white and uh, width and height needs to be specified as before so width equals 30 and height equals 8 so you can able to change the width and height uh, based on your preference as you can able to see the application while you are running so you can able to change and place the uh, components uh, appropriately so after this we will uh, create more uh, applications like when you press enter it will automatically uh, call the corresponding function like that we will uh, create in the next video so for now we have uh, created all the components that we need so next place the components in the window so for that we have to place three items that is chat log send button text box here both are text only but i have mentioned the config is disabled so that we can't able to click the text box and uh, able to type it because uh, this chat log is used to display the messages not to type that's why so let's place the components chat log dot place so x equals 6 so this will be numerical um, be sure to remember that and y equals 6 so this is like a corresponding point so I will show you where it starts and ends so we have to specify the height and the width so uh, we have uh, placed the chat log uh, component let's see it how it uh, displays so it's starting from 6 and y axis also 6 so let's run this so as you can able to see it uh, created the width of around uh, 50 and height of 8 i think it's not displaying uh, properly for this window so this is the point we are going to create so this uh, small gap is there right from the top and from the left that is the x and uh, y axis so x axis uh, it will be here and y axis it will be here so it, this will be 0 comma 0 and all these uh, space will be in terms of numbers if you are going to go here means it will be something around uh, 50 and uh, 150 like that you have to set those points after uh, seeing it i think uh, we have to go with uh, different width and height because it's not showing it properly by using these parameters here so what i'm going to do is just close this and instead of putting it here i'll just uh, place it here because it's just creating based on the text so let's remove this and remove this also now place it here in terms of numbers let's say height equals 386 and width equals 370 now we will place all the remaining things so that will be text box dot place so text box will be at the bottom so that will be x equals again 6 that is a small gap from the left side y equals 401 height equals 20 so this will be a small text box to type the messages and the width equals 265 so you can able to change the numbers and play around it uh, whether it is working properly or not or to customize your uh, ui 
lastly we have send button dot place x equals 300 that is from the left from the top y equals again 401 it will be on the right side of the text box now height equals 20 same as the text box height and width will be smaller so width equals 50 now i think that will be enough for the gui let's run it and see so we have got the chat application so here the text will be displayed and i will just uh, click on this button to send the messages here i can able to type i will come to the chat app and i can able to press enter and it will uh, do some corresponding operation so what we are going to do is uh, send this uh, text message to the client and clear it for the next usage so we will be uh, creating all the functions uh, in the next video so for now it is good to go and we can able to create the same uh, just copy and paste this for the client chat application for replication just close this and we will just copy everything paste it in client here instead of server we will just change it as client I think that is enough for us so we have completed the GUI creation for that uh, chat application so all is good to go so if you have any other tips you can give to other users to for building this uh, GUI application please leave a comment below we will see how to create functions for sending and receiving messages and, and accessing uh, those functions using the buttons or using a key we will see everything in the next video i think that's it guys if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for future video see you guys in the next video